Hello, God bless you. I pray that this video message finds you in faith and not in fear. I want you to understand that I'm praying for you. I am connecting my faith with your faith like never before. And together, we will make it through this crisis. We are living in very challenging times. But for every challenge, God presents to us an opportunity to be both courageous and creative. For every strange season, if we ask him, God will provide a supernatural strategy. Yes, together, we will make it through this victoriously. Listen, starting tomorrow morning, Impact Worship Center is going virtual. I don't know for how many weeks, but starting tomorrow morning, Impact Worship Center will be going virtual at both 8.45 and 10.30 a.m. Join me online via our social media platforms for a time of praise, worship, the word, and giving. Praise will go forth. Worship will go forth. The word of God will go forth and giving to God will go forth. Meet me here tomorrow morning at both 8.45 and 10.30 a.m. via our social media platforms, Facebook Live, and of course, our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Become our friend on our Facebook page and prepare yourself to be impacted by our virtual experience starting tomorrow morning. I want you to know that I am excited about this opportunity that the church has to stand up and lead. Yes, we will lead responsibly, but more importantly, we will lead with the righteous resolve. Why is this important, Pastor? This is important because the world, at its worst, needs to experience the church at its best. Jesus said, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. God says, in the end, we win. His church, his body. So it's time for us to stand up and lead with a righteous resolve. I love you, Impact family. I love you, Impact partners. Let's stay connected. Let's stay connected. Thank God for the power of social media. Thank God for Facebook. Thank God for YouTube. Thank God for Instagram. Amen. It allows us the opportunity to stay together, to stay connected. We will come through this victoriously. By faith, I decree it. I confess it with my mouth. We are justified or condemned by the words we speak. The power of life and death is in our tongue. Amen, amen, and amen. We will come through this wiser. We will come through this with a more in-depth relationship with God. And for those of you who are covenant connected to this house through your giving, please continue to do so. You can return your tithe, give an offering, sow a seed, on one of our three electronic platforms. Givelify is a very awesome and efficient way to give. Use the Givelify app. You can also use our text to give option, a very quick, simple, and secure way to give as well. Or you can go to our church website and click the give option and give through PayPal. I believe that God is going to use the church during this hour like never before. Amen. And for those individuals who need help in-house, that's why it's important for there to be storage in-house so that we can provide help for those members, those partners who may be in need. And of course, our hand will also extend to the community to be a blessing to them as well. It's time for the church to stand up and lead. It's time for the church to show the world that the church of Jesus Christ is the only answer for this world today. Amen, amen. Tomorrow morning at 8.45 and 10.30 a.m., meet me online. We're going to turn your residence into a sanctuary. 
right there, hallelujah, in your living room. You can lift up your hands in worship right there in your living room. You can say amen to the word right there in your living room. You can give God your best praise. You should be able to praise and worship from wherever you are. Amen. I see God getting glory out of this. I see God getting glory out of this. Meet me here tomorrow morning at 8.45 and 10.30 a.m. And for the remaining weeks, as long as it takes for us to come through this season of challenge, this strange season, but we will make it through victoriously. Why? Because our God is a protector. Why? Because our God is a healer. Why? Because our God is a provider. And we put our trust in him. We refuse to fear. The scripture says, be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation or the abandonment of the wicked when it comes, for the Lord will be your confidence and keep your feet from being taken. God is our confidence. We stand in faith and we refuse to fear. I love you, but God loves you best. Listen, 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 I'm gonna tell you how to keep your body, how to keep your spirit, and your mind in check. Can I tell you? Can I tell you how to keep your body, your spirit, and your mind in check? Okay, okay. Wash your hands. Body. Worship God. Spirit. Guard your mind with his word. Guard your mind with his word. Washing your hand helps protect your body. Worshiping God helps protect your spirit. And reading his word will help cover and protect your mind. And he will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him. I love you. I'm excited. Join me tomorrow morning, 8.45 or 10.30 a.m. You can give. As a matter of fact, you can go ahead and return tithe, give an offering, and sow a seed. Now, you ain't got to wait until tomorrow to do that. All right? Let's make sure that we continue to keep God first. Honor God. And when you honor God in return, he will honor you. When you give to him through honor, he will in return cover that that remains. And if we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. If we ever needed to trust, believe, and obey his word, we need to do that during this hour. I love you, family. I'm excited about the opportunity. I'm excited because I know in the end we will win. Scripture says, he which hath begun a good work in us will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. We'll perform that work until Christ returns for his church. I love your family, but God loves you best. We will see and talk to you real soon. Listen to favor.